Nobody puts baby in a corner. Corner. That was a bit from the hit 1987 film Dirty Dancing starring Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze. And we are on the edge of our seats waiting for ABC's remake coming soon. And joining us now to talk about it is one of the stars, Deborah Messing, who will also tell us about her charitable work, how she manages her allergies, and the 10th anniversary of Will and Grace. Welcome, Deborah. So great to see Thank you. Thank you. It's great to see you as well. Can it really have been 10 years since the last episode of Will and Grace? Uh, I, I, it's I can't believe astonishing. it. Astonishing. I can't believe it either. Do you miss it at all? I do, yes. of course. I love the fact that it's still on uh, every day. And, uh, you know, I have a 12-year-old son. Does he watch you it? Know, he, he he catches it every once yeah. in a while. And he, of course, knows everybody. Exactly. Um, so it's like, oh, there's Uncle Eric. Oh, there's, you know. Yeah. It's oh. like family. It's so great. Such a great show. Now, you look like you had so much fun shooting Dirty Dancing. You're very active on social media. Yes, and we got yes. to catch lots of great pictures. What was the experience like? Oh, it was heaven. It was heaven. I mean, it's such an iconic film. And to be able to come and, and to revisit it, and it's set in a period. It's all the original music. And, um, and I, you play baby's mother, mother Marjorie, Yes, right? Marjorie Hausman. And because this is one of those event um, Films mm -hmm. for ABC, they they made it longer, so they really built up the family um, relationships. That's so, so it's really great. interesting, and I had to sing and. Oh, but do you dance as well? I dance. Oh, I mean, the whole fun. thing was heaven, except the fact that it was in North Carolina, and right. um, so it was just flowers and grass and trees absolutely everywhere. And you have severe allergies. I do. Allergies, right? I do. And did you discover them back when you when I was a child? When you were a child. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is lifelong. So, it you know, I tried everything under the sun and then um gosh so when you filmed the wedding date, yes. I understand that you actually had the allergies got so bad at one point. We had to you, shut down. You had to shut down production. Yes. And you look yes. amazing. Look at we have a little clip from the wedding <laughs> date. You look amazing. No one would have known you were suffering from allergies. What what are your allergies? Everything. 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 I mean, you know, uh, grass, mold, mildew, flowers, down. Um, I, I, literally, everything. I mean, it's bad. And how do you manage them? Um, I don't eat the things I'm allergic to. I stay away from the things that, you know, give me a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, use, I use Zyrtec once a day. It's yeah. 24 hours. And so now, you You're know, good. now I know I'm good. Like, like, you know, wedding date was definitely challenging. Right. On the, we were in England, on the England countryside. It was magnificent. Um, and how long did you did the production have to shut down for you? To, uh, for, several, for several hours. For several hours. Yeah. Okay. But um, you know now just just sh you know shot uh, Dirty Dancing yes. like a month and a half ago. So and you love always good. Yeah, it's always all, fine. Always good. You didn't have to shut always down any. Always fine. So <laughs> you know, but it's I think it's going to be it's going to be really exciting to bring that bring the show back. Absolutely, back. we can't wait. We're all we're so excited. And you also are working now with Zyrtec because you are so grateful. I'm sure for how it helped you. Yeah, I, we've been working. Together for uh, four years now. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's so yeah. great. Now tell us also about your your charitable work. I understand you just got back from Africa, correct? Yes, Malawi. Um, I'm global ambassador for Population Services International for um, their HIV branch, and I've been so for nine years. And so I travel to sub-Saharan Africa, and um, we bring innovations to try and help increase the, the prevention and um, treatment of HIV. And we have some pictures of you there dancing with women at the, at the event. There. Yes, yes, I, I just got back. So was the trip, every time you go, have you, how many times have you been there I've now? been there uh, for three big trips. And is it life changing? Yes, yeah. yes, I've been to Zimbabwe, Zambia, now Malawi, and then when I come back, I usually go to Washington DC and testify on the Hill. And um, you will know, you be doing that this time around? Yes, that's great. Yes, and uh, ringing in the bell on on um, National World AIDS Day in December. So it's it's a uh, it's a passion of mine. Very important work that you're doing. And Deborah, are there any other projects on the horizon you want to tell us about? Um, right now, no. I am. Uh, I'm just trying to get the vote out. Yeah, right. You got to get it. through November, in right? November. <laughs> I, you know, just trying to make sure that everybody who is not um, registered gets registered because it's. It's, uh, it's an important election. It's to important, vote in. and it's it's a it's a really important right that we all have. So to have our voices heard. Absolutely, Deborah Messing. Thank you so much for coming to talk thank to us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.